Hello and welcome to another episode of Moonshot Nutrition. My name is Addison and today I'm going to talk to you about what I call non-universal weight loss tips. The reason I'm calling them non-universal is because they, unlike the previous episode where I actually talked about nearly universal weight loss tips, these tend to be a little more hit or miss. Some people notice a distinct difference and other people can't notice anything at all. This is one of those things where you're going to have to let your biology guide you through these should you choose to try them. And please be aware that most of these, not all of them, but most of these, you're going to need to try them for a decent period of time before you really know that they work or don't work. So usually along the lines of about two to four weeks, give or take. Let's dive right in with the first one, which is a protein shake about 30 minutes after you wake up. Very low carbohydrate protein. Literally just water and whatever usually whey protein powder tends to work well for people, although you can use a plant-based protein powder perfectly well also. And water. Whey will usually taste better. I warn you about that now. Um, But regardless of which one you use, uh, something about having about 20 to 30 grams of protein half an hour after you get up really does seem to increase some people's ability to lose weight quite significantly. And you don't even have to change any other aspect about your weight loss protocol. You literally just add that to the mix and see how it works. Another classic one is when people are trying to find ways to suppress appetite, which Don't get me wrong, I'm not really a fan of the idea of suppressing appetite. I think that should be done by your food, but if for whatever reason it is a problem for you, try eating a handful of nuts before you go and have your next meal. About half an hour to 15 minutes before you eat the meal, just eat a handful of any kind of nut you like. I warn you here, it works a lot better when you eat real nuts, not legumes that pose as nuts. Yes, I'm talking about cashews and peanuts. They simply do not work near as well as pecans and walnuts and uh, macadamia nuts and so on. So try that and see if it doesn't help curb your appetite a little bit. Another fun uh, sort of hack to any diet is realizing that if you're one of the people whose weight loss actually does respond relatively well to cardio, Don't do long bouts of cardio. And I say if you're one of those people, because as I explained in a previous video, most people really don't respond that well, particularly women, to large amounts of cardio for weight, weight loss. But if you do, learn to do something called HIIT training. That's H-I-I-T, high interval or high intensity interval training. Usually only takes about 20 minutes and will have the same effect as one to two hours of steady state cardio, but save you a lot of time. And again, let me give you the very large warning here, sort of a secondary tip to this, which is this tends not to work for women. Okay, men will actually get about a 24 hour boost to their metabolism after cardio. Women, it's more like two to four hours, okay? I know, it's just not fair, but remember, It's about what your biology responds to, not what, you know, whatever fitness magazine tells you you should be doing. So please be aware of that. Another sort of similar tip is that remember weight training will tend to help weight loss over time much better than will cardio because bigger, stronger muscles will burn far more energy and have a tendency to help you burn fat far better. So think about that too. And by the way, that actually works for both genders, both sexes, men, women, I don't care. Weight training or resistance training, if you will, strength training does tend to improve weight loss over time more than any other form of exercise. Fun fact. Another near, another uh, weight loss tip that works for a lot of people, but not everybody is drink more water. Don't go overboard. If you're peeing every one to two hours because you really have to go, then you're probably drinking too much. But oftentimes, just drinking a little more water, say 10 to 20% more water throughout the day, will actually help curb your appetite just a little bit. And if you're trying to avoid snacking or you need a little more time before you get to your next meal, it will help 
prolong the periods in between when you're getting hungry to eat again. Again, none of these tips are meant to be universal. They're gonna work for some, not others. Just be aware that these are fun little hacks that are easy to try and you can add to almost any diet or any weight loss program you want relatively easily. My name's Addison. This is Moonshot Nutrition. Thank you so much for watching me today. And please, if you learned something good here, share it with others. Make the world a better place. Thank you again. Bye-bye.